Hey guys, I'm Renee and welcome to the channel. Today, I'm going to teach you guys a five minute ice cream. And best part of it, has alcohol, that's one thing. <laughs> and the next part, it's no crazy machines needed. It's very standard ingredients, simple things you can find in your pantry. So let's begin. Hi everyone, welcome back. <laughs> Did you guys miss me? I feel like it's been, but are you what, two years? It's two two years. years, two years too long. I've missed you guys up until this morning. I met one of you guys on the streets and it's like, it still baffles me that you guys remember the videos and go back to the videos. And it warms my heart to see you guys messaging and saying, Renee, this really helped me. And that's what the channel really is about. It's about you learning and actually trying your best at it. And you know, I, I'm just happy, like it's two years, but it feels like just the other day, really. <laughs> so I'm back, I'm back for this episode. But Dawi said, Rene ice cream, and that's all he had to say. He literally just had to say ice cream. <laughs> so I'm here to talk about this recipe. We actually have Guinness here today, and it's a really, really, really easy recipe. Five minutes is gonna take you, and we don't need any crazy machines. It's just a stand mixer or a hand mixer. Uh, we have some whipped cream here and we also have some condensed milk and that's it. So remembering growing up here, you would see Guinness from your uncles, your dad, um, just men on the whole. But I felt as though I wanted to pay tribute to Guinness in ice cream. And the month of June, we all know it's Father's Day. And in that month, I wanted to try just alcoholic flavors. And who doesn't like alcohol and ice cream? It's just a combination of two amazing things in one. And because Guinness has this kind of malty, almost like a bare finish, it's a salt, um, it, it lends itself really, really nice into the ice cream. And at Sovete, um, I have made it with brownies and it's to die for. It's super creamy, it's rich, it's, it's something you can't mimic. You can, you're not gonna throw any essence, no. It's just the amazing Guinness stout that you need. And yeah, it's really, really decadent. And I get, I think you guys should try this and I'm pretty sure you're gonna love it. All right guys, so for the ingredients, we have our cool Guinness, we have our cool whipping cream. Now when you go to the grocery, you will see two types of cream. There's whipping and there's cooking. Now the main difference between cooking and whipping is the fat content. Cooking cream tends to have more fat content, content in it because we're actually cooking with it. So this actually lends itself to, you know, when you're making pastas, you want that creamy, rich sauce. You don't want anything watery. The fat content in this helps you to actually have a richer, creamy sauce. And the whipping cream is used for more desserts, so that's why you have lighter, area desserts. And that's the main difference, really. And then we have condensed milk. Now, everything needs to be cold because this is actually gonna help the structure of the ice cream fall. Now, this no churn recipe is really, really simple. And you can use this recipe to make any ice cream. But I'm gonna show you today again, Guinness ice cream. So first and foremost, we're gonna take our cold whipping cream and we're gonna throw it into the bowl. So this is the only part that is actually gonna take you a little time, not too long, just three minutes. We're gonna take the hand mixer. If you have a stand mixer, thank God, throw that in. You whip it, you're good to go. But I have a stand mixer today. <laughs> so we're gonna put it on a high uh, for at least three minutes until it reaches soft peaks and I'm gonna show you what that is. Okay. Okay, so it's been three minutes. Your hand hurts, but trust me, this is gonna be a lovely creamy ice cream and it's gonna be worth it in the end. So, I whipped it just a little bit over the soft peaks because I wanted to show you guys another way to be able to make the ice cream without the Guinness so you can actually make any flavor ice cream that you want. So you're gonna see when I'm pulling this up, you're actually gonna see the mixture, the cream comes straight up. That's called a stiff peak. It's not gonna just drop back down like that. It has like a straight stiff point, right? So when you're doing a soft peak, you're actually gonna pull it up and then this stiff, this peak here is actually gonna fall over and that's soft peaks. So this part is really preference. <laughs> if you love plenty, plenty, plenty Guinness, add more. If you don't, no problem, you can add a little, but we're gonna start off with half a bottle, which is basically half a cup because the whole entire Guinness will give you approximately a cup, right? So you're gonna do hmm, 
a little more. Why not? <laughs> right, and we're gonna mix it. Just the smell alone, I think it's so unique and oh gosh, it's so good. Right, so the condensed milk is actually gonna help with two things. It's gonna add sweetness to the base because the cream doesn't really have any sugar in it. And it's gonna help with the structure of the base. Once it's mixed with the actual cream, it's gonna lend itself to an even creamier texture. Good, so we've mixed it. I think I've mixed it good enough, yes. So once you've mixed it, we're gonna add it back now into the cream, but slowly. We don't wanna deflate the mixture too much. Okay, so the fun thing about this, like I said before, is really your preference. If you wanna add more Guinness, feel free. If not, this is good as well. This is what we're looking for. So you're gonna see that rich, it looks ultra creamy. Like that's, just like, that's how I'm gonna explain it, just ultra creamy. It's really, really nice and thick. So this is the fun part, we're gonna taste. This is where you're gonna see if you need to add more Guinness or um, leave it just as. Oh my God. But are we here? Any more <laughs> I think this is good, but Badawi is going to be the judge and he's going to see if we need more Guinness. Yeah, he's probably going to say it needs more Guinness. I like it just as. More Guinness. It tastes good. But it, it needs more Guinness. Good. It needs the whole bottle. Let me put it this way. If you want more Guinness, I would be mad. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Really okay, guys, so add more Guinness. <laughs> But slow. Keep adding it slowly. <laughs> and it's that simple. That simple, and you're gonna have amazing ice cream. Again, it's still creamy. Now we've lost the stiff peaks because, again, the Guinness is a liquid and the cream has been deflated just a little bit, but it still has a rich kind of feel to it. So this is really, really good. Next, you're gonna take a container with a very, very great seal, a tight container. <laughs> so we're gonna pour that into it. Just look how rich and decadent this looks. Like, and it's so satisfying. <laughs> now, this is a lot of ice cream. This could feed the entire family. And it was just that simple. So we got, we're actually gonna put this into the freezer for at least six hours. Um, by the time six hours reach, we're gonna have an amazing creamy textured ice cream and we're gonna show you guys. Um, don't forget, cover it and make sure it's fully, fully covered. You can actually put wax paper first and then you can put the cover just to make sure that no extra air gets into it. So in the freezer it goes now for at least six hours. So of course I wasn't gonna wait six hours. I wanted my ice cream now. <laughs> so I made it beforehand and I brought it here. So I just have some water with my ice cream scoop and we're gonna have some. Just look how rich and creamy that is. So good. So we're gonna have it. Just gonna take a little or a lot. <laughs> it's ice cream. Mmm. Oh. I literally feel like I'm drinking Guinness. This is three ingredients. Be sure any is three ingredients, guys. And mmm. Mmm. Okay. <laughs> this is so good. This is so good. If you don't want to make Guinness ice cream, you can leave the Guinness out and you can add something else. You can add cookies, you can add cereal. You can make it your own. You want strawberry cheesecake? Go buy some strawberries, chop it up, fold it into the, the, the um, cream base, and you're good to go. Now, to amplify this though, Guinness and brownies, amazing. So you can just chop up some brownies. You don't have to make it home. Nobody has to know you didn't make it home. <laughs> just buy some in your grocery, chop it up, and you can have it. Guys, this is so amazing. Three ingredients, you can't go wrong. I'm at love, I'm in love, like this is amazing. So I hope you guys enjoy. Make sure to tag us below and to tell us when you've tried the ice cream. I miss you guys, I really have missed you guys. Um, I don't know if Badawi's gonna bring me back. We're gonna see, <laughs> we're gonna see, we're gonna see. 
but I have been following my passion and my passion is, you guessed it, ice cream. And I started my own brand of artisanal frozen desserts. It's an eggless brand and it's called Sovetti, right here. But I'll be sure to put everything, the links down below. I love what I do and I make ice cream from my heart. All the flavors I create is from, they are from scratch. And the best part, it's delivered right to your door. I know you don't have to go to the grocery and buy anything. Um, so yeah, it, it's taken me away from this job, but it's an even bigger uh, job for me and it's something that I'm really proud to call my own. So you guys can check out all the information about Sovete down in the link below. And this was really fun, guys. I missed you, I miss the camera, I miss seeing Badawi. Being in the studio is like, it feels surreal, but it's great to have you guys and something we could actually bond over, which is ice cream, my favorite thing in the world. <laughs> so enjoy, guys. Bye. I will see you next time. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>